everyone and welcome back. Happy full moon in Pisces. Real quick before we get into the full moon forecast for Pisces, I just want to explain real quick that might be a little bit confusing for some people. It depends where the moon is right now, but in some places the full moon is going to be on September 1st and some places the moon is going to be on September 2nd. Most places is going to be September 2nd. For example, New York, Iowa, Texas, Japan, we're all having the full moon on September 2nd and we all have it during different times. For example, Japan is having the full moon at 2.22 p.m. to 22 p.m. And Arizona is having the full moon on September 1st at 10.22 p.m. It just depends where you are and around the world, but I think most it is September 2nd. So just look it up on Google to see when the full moon is, if that's in something that is important to you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's a been a pretty rough day for me and to get this video uploaded and going. I'm just being real with you guys. This full moon, I, don't, I definitely I feel it, but also I'm in my luteal phase, guys, and yeah. I'm just very moody. So you might be feeling moody in this full moon. You might be feeling really emotional during this full moon in Pisces because Pisces is a water sign, so they are highly emotional people. Some might say that they're overly emotional. It just depends on the person. Okay, obviously we have the zodiac in Pisces. We have the element in water. We have the symbol of the fishes. The Pisces are the little fishies swimming around. Just keep swimming like Dory always says. In the, the planets, we have Jupiter and Neptune. For the colors, we have purple. I have purple on. A little bit like purple in the shirt, but I also have an amethyst necklace on to represent the color purple. The chakra that we're working with today is the third eye. It's between your eyebrows. You know, the imagination, the dreamers, the visionaries. That's how Pisces are. The numerology that we're working with today is six and seven. Seven is one of Pisces lucky numbers and then num today is day number six. So we got anything with responsibility or family life or you're gonna feel lucky with your family or you're just gonna have a good time with family at this time or you know you're just gonna have good luck in your responsibilities meaning anything that you have going on for you you might be just having good luck. Everything is flowing, things like that. It's also an analytical number and it's a very spiritual number and I do sense for this full moon that you're going to feel the need to connect with yourself and that's a very Pisces thing. Pisces like to be connected deeply. The crystals that we're working with today is aquamarine and labradorite. Let's just talk about the crystals a little bit. I do not have a aquamarine crystal I believe. I might. I just I don't know. I'm not sure. I gotta check. I got a lot of crystals guys but I do have this aquamarine necklace and this this aquamarine bracelet. I really love aquamarine. It really goes well with Pisces, but as well, it really goes well with Aquarius. And it's just a really gentle stone. It's really calming. I just, it reminds me of the sea. It just has that really beautiful tropical color look to it, like of the ocean. Then we have Labradorite, which is really, really good because it's a magical stone and you might need a little magic in this moon. For this full moon in Pisces, you might be feeling a little low, you know, emotional. And this will really help you help that out. I really love how luminescent the Labradorite is. It's just a really great stone. It's really great for intuition, for psychic development, for wisdom. I feel like the Labradorite is like the shaman, you know, the medicine man or a woman. It just has a lot of like intelligence and it's luminescent, right? So it also has like this reflecting, reflector sense. Things that you put out there are gonna come back out to you, you know, like a mirror. Anyways. Those are your crystals. I highly suggest having those around. And we're gonna add selenite to this video. The other day I had some anxiety. If you're having anxiety during this full moon, grab your selenite. And I just put my selenite on my chest when I'm sitting down and it just really helps me. I hold on to it. You guys know in my past moon videos, I love talking about selenite. Selenite is my number one crystal. And it's just really great to cleanse energy. It really helps cleansing crystals. If you can't put your crystals out during the full moon. Make sure you put your crystals out if you can so that they recharge. You can literally put selenite on top of your crystals or you know set the intention and it will cleanse your crystals. The magic of selenite. I really love selenite. Selenite just reminds me of a high vibrational like really high frequency stone. It also reminds me of a very angel-like god-like energy like heaven. It just, rem it just gives me that high vibration and I don't typically feel 
feel that strong with crystals, but this one I definitely feel strong. Also, add rose quartz to your baths. If you're taking any full moon baths, I've been using a lot, like I have three rose quartz in my bathtub right now. I've been using rose quartz a lot too to just try to be more humble, more compassionate, and more self-loving during this full moon cycle. The affirmation that I chose for you guys today is I arise each day and embrace my life by connecting with my soul. The reason why I chose this affirmation is because the energy around this full moon is to really connect with your soul. You might have this feeling, this nudge feeling to really connect with yourself deeply, however that means to you, doing yoga, Yoga, meditating, taking baths, journaling, whatever that means to you, this full moon there is a strong energy of feeling connected again, feeling less in autopilot and more connected to your soul. Maybe it's painting. What is it that really connects you to your soul being? What makes you really happy? What makes you relaxed? What makes you feel on a higher vibration? Different things like that. With this Pisces full moon, like I said before, you know, it's a water element. Again, I'm sorry if I seem off but you might feel off during this full moon it just has a certain energy around it and you just might feel moody you might feel more introverted like you want to be a hermit or maybe you know a lot of people are annoying you it just depends on the person maybe the full moon is feeling really good for you but for most it's probably going to be feeling what I originally just said. Let's jump into the Pisces characteristics. They are very empathetic. They are, you know, overly emotional or just emotional in general. They're imaginative. They're dreamers. They can be generous. They can be very compassionate. And they have a high intuition. Most of the time, Pisces knows. A Pisces will know the energy that you're sending out. They are just very empathetic beings. They're very, they're, most Pisces are empath. Pisces is a mutable sign as well we have a new moon in Virgo on September 17th and they are also a mutable sign a mutable sign is someone that is liable to change they go with the flow they are very adaptable they shape shift they're chameleons they're very flexible a mutable mutable energy is like the end of a project the end of a season so we're we are in September on September 22nd it starts off fall season and we're going to transition transition into the next season, right? We're going to transition into fall. There is going to be a transition period for you during this month, during this full moon. Let's dive into your full moon reading. Let's see what our moon reading has to say for us today during the Pisces full moon. They're a little bit scattered, but let's clear up the energy. Let's get the selenite and just set the intention that these are cleared. I'm gonna have to sage them today too. But let's find out. So we have the two mutable energies this month, all about change. Remember last month we had Leo and Aquarius, the fixed signs, being, you know, stubborn or not being flexible. And then we have the mutable change. Those cards fell right under the bed. I had to like reach to get them. Last month we had the two fixed signs, Aquarius and Leo. And this month we have, we have the two mutable signs, Pisces and Virgo. So it's a transition stage. We have fall coming, that's a transformation, that's transition. How can you transition into the next season? All right, I pulled the three cards for you. Before I look at the cards, I wanna explain that you might be feeling all different types of emotions this full moon. You might one day feel happy, tired, but happy. You might feel hopeful. You might have like energy one day and then tank the next day. It's kind of like an all over the place energy and it's like each day you wake up and you feel something different. Also, you might be having a lot of bad dreams, exes or past life people that have been in your past or about the government. You might have really bad dreams around this full moon as well. So make sure that you have a lot of crystals near your bed. Put amethyst underneath your pillow to help you with dreams. Get like a grounding stone like a black tourmaline or a black onyx or red jasper. Make sure you have that to protect your energy. Sage around your bed to really clear that. Okay, the cards that we got today is look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. We have prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. And also we are transitioning into the north node of the zodiac sign Taurus so you might also be feeling that shift as well if you don't know what I'm talking about just do some research on it we have like the north node and south node and it's just the way the constellations are changing in the sky and then we have your hard work is paying off 
new moon in Capricorn. This is definitely uh, has to do with a career or a, some sort of project or maybe it's an exam of some sorts or like maybe you're going towards like a diploma, something of that sort or maybe a promotion at your job. You're doing all this hard work and you're not looking at the dig bigger picture. You're feeling that, sorry guys, I have, I am not clear today. I'm very clouded and fatigued. <laughs> you might feel those emotions too. I'm very curious what how you're feeling the full moon definitely comment down below what you're feeling during this full moon because everybody's different everyone is essentially going to feel some sort of different emotions or energy the full moon and Sagittarius you're someone who is very goal oriented and you work really hard towards what you want to achieve I really see that in all three of these cards but you're not seeing the bigger picture you are not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel you have to know that this is like a successful card this is saying like you're moving forward in the right direction it reminds me of the eight of wands full speed of head that card and then we have prosperity lies ahead you're really going to get the abundance out of this situation everything's gonna work out for all those who are in favor new moon in Taurus and then new moon like this is gonna be a new beginning for you for sure and it's a double new beginning so two blessings are coming your way in that this fall I'm not saying it's going to happen exactly this full moon but in the transition into fall it's definitely gonna happen and then it just proves to you with the new moon in Capricorn your hard work is paying off Capricorns are very business oriented people they are very ambitious in business and they do that really well so know that you do things really really well you do things with a lot of determination and you are someone who is really dedicated but also you are someone who is really disciplined and that really really shows with all of these energies we have a fire sign and, and then two earth signs you're someone who is really down to earth with the Taurus here the new you know prosperity lies ahead Taurus are very generous people they know how to save money they work themselves pretty much to exhaustion so you don't you're doing the hard work the universe recognizes that that is your full moon reading and also let's see what else we have here I feel whatever it is that, that you're feeling at this moment it's gonna really transit really really quickly that is your three card reading for this full moon in Pisces. I hope you guys resonated with it. And I apologize again that I'm just not, you know, energetically feeling it today. It's real life. I'm a, a real human being. And I really do try my best to be energetically aligned and feeling good when I do these mini videos. But sometimes it's just hard because I like to film right near the full moon or the new moon. I don't like to stretch it out too much because then it just doesn't feel authentic to me. So with that being said, I'm being my authentic self with you and I just hope you don't expect anything less <laughs> alright guys make sure you give yourself extra love th this week and within the next two weeks until the new moon namaste the light in me honors the light in you stay gold be nice to yourself and be kind to others and I'll see you guys in my next video bye